How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. China just went all in, not on Bitcoin specifically, but on stimulus. I want to go through this because they just announced more stimulus. We have some interesting takes on the market right now. We have Gary Gensler saying that people are so excited to work at the SEC that they're the gold standard of federal agencies. And we have celebrities selling all their Bitcoin and now they're heartbroken because uh, they're at, you know, they're at a loss because we went up $10,000 since they panic sold and gold's hitting new all-time highs. Let's talk about all this. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this. Also, let me know what you're drinking down below in the comment section. Right now, I have a water and I do have a coffee as well. You know, it's a little bit late to be drinking coffee, but we have to make some videos here. We have to go through what's happening in the market. I need to stay alert here. So again, if you want to try out the link underneath the video to Margex, you can trade this market. You can put in long positions, short positions. You can get ready for this eventual breakout, especially if we hit a higher high here. If we can break the $65,000 mark, that'll be extremely bullish. We've seen the ETFs buy Bitcoin every single day, have net inflows every single day since the rate cuts. So Maybe we see another day. You can see there's a lot of volatility right around this level with kind of bigger uh, bigger wicks recently because of the fact that we've uh, we've gotten rejected by the 65,000 right now. We're trying to break through and we're right at the 200-day moving average. So the body of these candles getting a little bit thicker. But again, let me know your thoughts on where we are in the market down below and let's get started here. Just a few days ago, we heard that China went all in on stimulus, sending Chinese stocks up 4%. This included lowering policy interest rates and signaling more rate cuts were coming, Cut, cutting rates on over $5 trillion in mortgages, like pre-existing mortgages, eased rules on second home purchases, lowered the requirement reserve ratios for banks, pledged over $100 billion in equity market support, and stated policymakers were studying a stock market stabilization fund, basically able... Uh, enabling c companies to buy back their own stock and getting money from the government to do so. Now there's more news. I see here Bitcoin will benefit from this and then just tag this. China to give cash handouts to the poor. So not only are they doing all that other stuff that we just talked about, this came a day after uh, the other announcement that China is going to give one-off cash handouts to people in extreme poverty before Tuesday. Um, they announce this and uh, they are going to stimulate the world's second largest economy with these direct handouts. They say the Ministry of Finance and Ministry of Civil Affairs will issue living subsidies to disadvantaged groups, including very poor and orphans before the National Day holiday next week. Supposedly, they're budgeting about $22 billion U.S. dollars uh, for financial assistance and subsidies to people in extreme poverty orphans and the homeless this year as per government notice in april they have about 4.74 million people living in extreme poverty so this would give them up to about five thousand dollars or so four to five thousand dollars to each person in extreme poverty this is actually a significant amount of money especially for someone in extreme poverty I wouldn't be surprised if they actually up this to include more people but this is interesting because typically we've seen China kind of do top down stimulus. And uh, this is interesting too, because this is the first country that I've heard in a while that's giving literal stimulus checks out to the public. This may be part of the reason that gold's up again today, just relentless. It hit just short of 2,700. A lot of gold investors quite happy about this. As I covered just in yesterday or the day before, the year to date on gold is about 30%, 29%, and the one year on gold is 38.23. From the bottom nearly a year ago, we're up 45.9%. So gold investors are extremely excited. Keep in mind, Bitcoin's still outperforming. Year to date, Bitcoin's up 43%. And on the one year on Bitcoin, it's up 141%. So it's still far outpacing gold. But this does make some people wonder, okay, is this just going to continue to happen? Is there going to be more and more stimulus? Are we going to see more and more money printing? 
yeah, we are. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know why people think we're not going to see that. This is not a bug. This is the game. This is a feature of what's going to happen in the future. And yeah, we just got news of more stimulus. Now, how does this affect the market? Well, alt and BTC pairs are at an important crossroads. Let's talk about this in a second. But first, a word from today's show sponsor, Limits Express. You know, on this channel, we talk a lot about how to invest your money, where to put your money. But what if you could invest your money into a business that generates you a monthly income? That's where today's show sponsor, Limit Express Company, comes in. They will completely manage a store on Amazon for you, selling products like Colgate toothpaste, Crest mouthwash, Dove soap, and many more products. In order for Limit Express to buy these products at extremely cheap pricing, they need to spend over $500,000 with their suppliers every month. That's why they have over 150 clients that send in the funding for the inventory. They pull that money together to place a big order for their supplier, they get really cheap pricing on all the inventory and sell them for a profit on your Amazon store. And they completely manage the inventory and sales. Of course, always do your own research, right? This is not a make free money card, but if you are interested in becoming a client or just learning more um, about earning an income on Amazon, you can use the link underneath the video to book a free 30 minute Zoom call directly with the owner, Kyle. So. Right now, Alt and BTC pairs are at an important crossroads. If they get rejected by the bull run support bands, which now have fallen to the prior support level that we uh, has that has since turned resistance, then it should allow BTC dominance to hit 60% before end of year. Last cycle, final Alt BTC pair capitulation occurred after rate cuts began, and they bottomed once quantitative easing began. Let's just read that again. Last cycle, the final alt BTC pair capitulation occurred after rate cuts and they bottomed once a quantitative easing began. But last FOMC, Powell said that quantitative tightening will continue for now despite lowering interest rates. They did the same thing last cycle. Rate cuts began in, in July 2019, but quantitative easing didn't happen until two months later. This cycle, rate cuts began in September but quantitative easing is yet to begin. So if we go by 2019, maybe it happens two months later in something like November. So this is pretty on par with what Benjamin Cohen said before, which is he thinks Bitcoin dominance is gonna to top out around 60%, but that's gonna happen later in the year. Based on 2019, that would happen in something like maybe October, November. So, it's an interesting opportunity right now. A lot of people are screaming from the rooftops to buy altcoins. And honestly, if you're looking to get into altcoins, this is probably the time to do it. You don't want to time it. You don't want to try to time it for the exact bottom. Of course, that's great if you can nail it, but you don't want to be too late once we start to see some more quantitative easing because then everyone is going to be piling in and we're going to see altcoins go up significantly. Now, again, that's where if you want to play that, if you want to play that possibility, you could go trade something like, I don't know, Doge, Pepe, Shiba, Caspa, Solana, and you can trade it with your Bitcoin or with USDT or with, you know, these other cryptocurrencies as collateral. So maybe you want to do that. But again, you can get ready for those big moves by leverage trading or just by spot trading as well. There are several big buyers active right now. HODL 15 Capital lays out some new buyers. Mr. 157 started with zero Bitcoin, but now buying 157 Bitcoin. Looks like a couple times a day starting on the 23rd. Of course, we don't know if it's buying or just transferring, but some pretty significant buys there. You can see multiple buys each day from this person as well. Multiple uh, multiple deposits, most likely buys because otherwise you just deposit it all at one time, right? So 70, 190, 17, 72, 120, 23, 252, etc. This wallet buying a significant amount as well 1,000, 163, 239, 272, all within the last week. And this all over a one week period going from 139, well, actually from zero Bitcoin all the way up to almost 3,000 Bitcoin. So yeah, I mean, there's some significant buyers right now. Obviously, like I said, gold and Bitcoin doing really well this year. Bitcoin for Freedom says, Fed is about to turn on the printer. Gold is reaching new all-time highs every day now. Gold is scarce, but Bitcoin is finite. 
Few understand this, but it will become general knowledge soon. It's a good point. <laughs> I, I found this really funny. Um, Gary Gensler says, I'm proud to work with the SEC staff, the gold standard of federal agencies. In 2023, our staff rated us among the best places to work in the federal government. We serve investors and issuers while overseeing the markets where they meet. So they say, <laughs> Gary says, we're the gold standard of federal agencies. I guess that depends on how you view that. Being one of the best places to work, being rated that by your own employees doesn't necessarily mean that you're the best, uh, you're the gold standard of federal agencies. I would think some of that would come with efficiency, with fairness, right? That would make you the gold standard, not necessarily how well you're rated. Like if you're a super cushy place to work for and you pay people a lot and they're not really held to a high standard, your employees might like you, but you're doing a disservice to all the taxpayers. So this is, I just found ironic. <coughs> Sauce Gardener. I had never heard of who this was, but this got a lot of attention, so I, I looked into it. Uh, they are a professional football player, as in American football, New York Jets uh, cornerback. They say, unfortunately, I sold all my Bitcoin a few weeks ago, and it's up $10,000 now. Broken heart emoji. I should have trusted y'all when y'all said hodl. Hodl. Yeah, so it sounds like he sold nearly at the very bottom, like around 52, 53,000. So really unfortunate for him. But yeah, you do have to have some resolve to be in this market. Something else pretty fascinating. The SEC today called crypto mining a security. All right. <laughs> I guess they don't really understand what crypto mining is. Obviously, there are some people that try to make money from it, but... Does it meet the Howey test? I don't know. This is just fascinating to watch. They seem to be digging themselves a deeper and deeper hole with the crypto community and maybe with future presidents. Who knows? I mean, there are some presidents that are quite bullish or some uh, some possible presidents that are quite bullish on the industry. So I think they're going to probably clean house depending on who gets to be the next president. Let me know your thoughts, though. Thank you so much. Again, you can check out the link underneath the video to Margex in case you want to position yourself in some long trades or short trades. You know, you can make your own decision. Thank you so much. I'll see you all in the next one.